very much. Uh, Thank you. Mr. Yeah. You didn't even tell me your names. Well, um, I'm Ayo. He's Coyote. We both have Ayos in our names. Okay. Fumini Yafuya is Speaker, House of Assembly, Ekiti State. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Good morning. We're back in a moment. Please stay with us. Well, uh, next item is, of course, as you can see, emo politics, and there have been that talk about, uh, you know, the former governor of the state not being allowed to come into the state for one reason or another. But we, other details you get in this conversation, we're about to have with the secretary of uh, PDP in Emo State, Honorable Ray Emiana. Thank you so much for joining us. Could you kindly give us, you know, uh, uh, an update? exactly what is the picture what's going on thank you very much the situation we have in Imo state is akin to beating up a child and not allowing the child the opportunity to cry out the situation we have in Imo state well as i speak to you our leaders our forefathers who died fighting for democracy in this country must be weeping in their grave. A situation where somebody who was robbed of his victory is also banished and, and they were in the season of banishment and not allowed to come back home to participate in the PDP primaries. And the whole state got so militarized that even women, innocent women, who went to the airport to receive His Excellency, Right Honorable Medical Hedohan, we are beaten up and stripped simply because they wore the wrapper with the insignia and picture of right honorable Mickey Hedger. We have a situation where I and other chieftains of PDP went to security agencies, cap in hand begging to allow us to receive uh, our governor, the man elected. Because we have in Moste, what happened is happening in Moste, if you come to Moste, you have a situation of two appellations. You hear the Supreme Court governor, court governor, you hear the elected governor. But as a party, as law abiding citizens, we have accepted the fact that today the governor of Imo State is uh, Hope Zodema. But the governor of Imo State and his uh, supporters and APC must also accept the fact that as citizens of Imo State, we have a right to say injustice has been done to, or done to us. We didn't. Uh, the day before His Excellency was built to arrive, the APC held a press conference where they alleged that we were coming to Rohar, have a protest, and we throw the state in a state of anarchy and confusion. Far from the truth. The truth is simple that the PDP will be holding a, uh, uh, their award congresses tomorrow. And I'm making him to as a bona fide member of PDP, as a citizen of Imo State, as a citizen of Nigeria, whose only crime is that he contested and won the election as governor of Fimbo State, will be disallowed to enter the state. Well, oh, uh, at the last... Uh, at the last Honorable Emen, Emiana, let me ask you this one very quickly. Is it that the former governor is not allowed into the state or he voluntarily suspended his visits to Imo State? The governor was forced to suspend his visit to Imo State and he said his visit to Imo State it's not worth the life of anybody. And I dare say, if the Hello, governor Hello, Mr. Emena, one moment. You said the governor was not allowed. Who, which governor are you talking about? I said, right on Rebele Meki was disallowed and was forced to cancel his return to Imo State because as a peace-loving Imo citizen, he realized that the build-up by security agencies, by talks mobilized across the state, if he dared enter the state with the, uh, the, 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 the crowd and the, the level of uh, acceptance in just the most people, by the time most citizens troop out to receive him, terror will be unleashed. And his excellency said, my return to my dear state, Imo state, is not the worth of the life of any Imo citizen. So he was forced to cancel his return so that people will not die. So in that, to that extent, it is easy to surmise that he was forced not to return to his state. When you refer to Honorable Emeka Ehejewa as your governor, you have said that a few times. You've called him the governor, and we know that there is a governor in 
in most states. Don't you think that already uh, those are the makings of a perfect crisis? And don't you think that, that that is something you should also consider, some of the utterances you make perhaps? These are things that might even aggravate uh, the situation. I had, I had earlier said that as law-abiding citizens of Nigeria and Imo State, we accept the fact, as we have it today, that the governor of Imo State is uh, who opposed on the woman. I accept that and I, that I don't, and there are no doubts about that as pronounced by the Supreme Court. But we also we have to accept the fact that the people of Imo State voluntarily chose right on the I, I, I detract from the fact, and I apologize if I said that uh, Mekia is the governor. He is not the governor. But in our minds, he is the governor. But in the, according to the Constitution of Nigeria, he is no longer the governor of Imo State. But what we are saying is that these issues are arising because we have fought for democracy. We are in a democracy. Emeka Edoha was governor for eight, seven and a half months. He never terrorized the state. He didn't disallow other people from exercising their freedom of movement, entry and exit from Imo State, in spite of all the provocations. We are saying that the government, the government of APC in Imo State today should, as a matter of urgency, be called to order to stop harassing other citizens who do not agree to their political views. And that is the crisis in Imo State today. Well, how do you uh, account for the fact that a leader of PDP in Imo State will not be encouraged to return home and participate in the PDP primaries of his state? How do you explain that? So I, I want to believe you've seen the statement from the Imo State Police Command, and I'd like you to respond, especially when it says in the statement that some group of persons had concluded plans to use the return of the former governor to foment trouble. Was that a possibility you were also considering? Since the 14th of January, when the Supreme Court gave their verdict against PDP in Imo State, we have held several protests. See, several groups in Imo State, other than the PDP, have also held protests. At a point, we transited from protest to prayer protests. Not one single skirmish not one single aspect of the law being broken. We have always informed the police, we have always discussed with the police, and we have heard a pro protest in civilized manner. Not even a, a, a pin got missing anywhere. And on this particular event, we also duly informed the police. How come this time around, the arrival of uh, His Excellency will now become a product of violence? Emeka Idoha is not a very violent person. In fact, if Emeka Idoha has any shortcomings, it's because he's a man who believes in the due process of the law, who believes that there's freedom of expression, who believes in freedom of association, and he practiced that for that length of time. And I expect our brother, the new governor, right, uh, who was a German senator, to also appreciate that there's, there is reason, uh, that the dissent is part of a democracy, that everybody cannot be an APC. And to extend the, only, the, 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 the uh, free will, to extend the, uh, the environment of peace to other people who hold uh, views other than that of APC. A situation where APC comes on board and says, if you are not in APC, you have no right of it. As I speak to you, my life is under threat. I have several lawsuits against me because I don't speak my mind. And I have the reason to, I, I believe that my children should, and my grandchildren, and indeed the children of other immolites, have a right of dissent. And because you have the right of dissent, and you won the election, for whatever reason the law says you're no longer the elected person, and then you become banished in your state, who's, uh, uh, to who, to whose advantage is that? Is it to the government or to who? So the point we are making is that we have a new government in the state. And I, we accept that. But they must also accept that the popular party, the popular party, the Imo, that Imo lights, have their law for Emeka Yadora. Whether you like it or not, allow Imo lights to express their love to Emeka The problem uh, we had in Imo State yesterday was simple. Some group of people were afraid that if Emeka Yadora arrived in Imo State freely and then to tread the streets of Imo, that they love that to be showered.
showered on him, the, the praise that we showered on him in view of what he was able to accomplish within a short extent time, will diminish their, 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 their poster in Nigeria. All right, then. We, we have to thank you very much uh, for your time this morning. Honorable Ray Emana is Secretary to PDP in Imo State. Thank you so much for your time. Well, we are back in a moment. It's still on this subject matter. It's in a moment. Very much. Thank uh, you. Mr. Fumini, you have You didn't tell me your names. Well, um, I'm Ayo. He's Kayode. We both have Ayos in our names. Thank you. Fumini Yafuya is Speaker, House of Assembly, Ekiti State. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Good morning. Back in a moment. Please stay with us.